there's some breaking news coming in at this hour and we are re- revisiting our top story when where Iran launched a swarm of explosive drones and fired missiles at Israel. Uh, now the Israel chief of staff has sent out an official statement saying that, uh, in fact, Iran's uh, chief of staff saying that our attack is over. We do not wish to continue it, but we will respond forcefully if Israel targets our interests. Um, I'm joined by my colleague Vishnu Shom at this hour. Vishnu, which means that we can uh, hope for no further escalation in the region. That's the answer. Fingers crossed. The statement by the chief of staff of the, uh, uh, of the Iranian military is particularly significant. It's breaking news coming in right now where he seems to suggest that as far as the Iranians are concerned, their assault on Israel has ended and that they're not looking to increase this by any means and that as far as they're concerned, it's over. Now, whether Israel chooses to actually accept this or not is what needs to be seen. At the moment, several hours after the Iranian attack, there has been no Israeli counterattack. And therefore, with bated breath, people in West Asia, indeed across the world, are waiting to see whether this exchange is essentially over. Remember, the impact of the Iranian strikes on Israel has been minimal. Uh, more, than ni- more than 95 to po- possibly even up to 99% of all of the Iranian drones, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles which were fired in the direction of Israel have been intercepted. Um, the extent of damage on the ground we don't know. The extent of casualties, it doesn't seem to be any at all. Uh, perhaps small injuries of people evacuating to shelters, etc., etc. This being the case, will Israel choose to calibrate its response by not launching direct attacks on Iranian territory? Particularly after this statement by the Iranian chief of staff, that's what we're going to have to wait and watch and hope. Well... Vishnu, what I also wanted to know that these two forces, Iran and uh, Israel, they have had tension for a very long time. But why this escalation now? Uh, b- because we uh, still do not know whether the incident that happened in Syria was called by- caused by Israel. Well, that's because Israel has never claimed that it did. It was an attack on the uh, Isra- I- an attack on the Iranian mission in Damascus. It took place on the first of April. It, um, it was a targeted strike. There were at least seven people, Iranians, killed over there, including members of um, elite elements of the Iranian military, uh, the Al-Quds force. Um, Iran said that Israel was responsible. Israel has never openly accepted that they took out the strike. It is why took out the, the, the mission. It is widely believed that that may well have been the case. Irrespective of that, what Iran has now done is... Uh, They attacked Israel using hundreds of drones, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. Israel activated its defensive system, uh, which is a five-tier defensive system, and were able to prevent large-scale damage taking place on their territory uh, through the defensive means that they adopted. In other words, the interceptions of the cruise missiles, ballistic missiles and killer drones. So that's the situation right now. Again, as I mentioned a, a few moments earlier, the big question is, is... Iran may be done with with the assaults. Is Israel done at the moment? We still don't know.